Hello everybody and welcome to the August Telescope Live event. This month Mark is on leave so I'm taking his place in introducing this pre-recorded video. Which doesn't mean we're not going back to our live events hosting world-renowned industrial photographers. In fact, from September we will be releasing some very exciting stuff on our YouTube channels. So make sure you're subscribing to our channel. Today we're going to announce the July 2021 contest winner and Nick Zimanek will give some insight about the winning pictures and just after that we will go with the August 2021 contest announcement. This month the judges Selecting amongst the hundred of images we received on our network are Adam Block, Nick Zimanik, and Yanis Akar. Now I'm leaving the floor to Nick Zimanik, who is going to announce the July 2021 contest winners. Hi, and welcome to this short presentation announcing the results of the Telescope Live July Astro Imaging Competition. As usual, we have three categories, one-click submissions, pro data set, and advanced data set submissions. And we'll start off with the one-click submissions. In second place is a wide-field mosaic narrowband image of the Sadra area of Cygnus. Uh, this is a multiple-pane composite by Lionel Padron, uh, which contains the wonderful Crescent Nebula upper right. We like this image because of the very smooth way that the separate panes have been combined together and the dust and gas look are very photogenic. This image wins 50 observing credits. In first place is a wide field image of the bright star Deneb which also contains plenty of dusty nebulae such as the Pelican Nebula at lower left. The image was carefully processed by Thomas Peters with Deneb itself controlled very well and nice colours in the nebulae. This image wins 100 observing credits. Next is the Pro Dataset winners. In second place is this lovely view of the enigmatic Tarantula Nebula processed by Jean-Marc de Costa. And despite its relative brightness, the Tarantula Nebula is a difficult object to process well. In this image, the core is well contained with great views of the fainter dust in the extremities of the nebula and the narrowband colour palette works very well. This image wins 100 observing credits. In first place is a view of the bright blue reflection nebula NGC 6727 in the constellation of Corona Australis by Bernard Miller. Great processing of the data shows fine detail in the reflection nebulosity as well as the dark brownish dust at lower right. And uh, as a bonus, we have the uh, lovely globular cluster NGC 6723, just to the upper left, which is in the nearby constellation of Sagittarius. And the core of that globular cluster has been very well controlled. Uh, this image wins 200 observing credits. And finally, we have the advanced data set winners. And in second place, is the bright nebula NGC 6559 in Sagittarius and this image was processed by Eric Gans. It's a very photogenic nebula but it's often overlooked due to the proximity of the nearby Lagoon and Triffid nebulae. Eric has processed the image sympathetically showing the subtle contours and features contained within the dust and good star colours. This image wins 250 observing credits. And finally, in first place, is an excellent view of the astonishing galaxy M83 in Hydra by Chris Parfit. Uh, this image is a, a combination of RGB and hydrogen alpha data, which, when combined, delivers great views of the lovely red H2 regions scattered throughout M83's wonderful spiral arms. The core is well controlled, and also some great views of the uh, many more distant galaxies in the frame. This image wins 500 observing credits. So congratulations to all of our winners. Uh, we had a great time looking through all the images and choosing the ones that we thought were the winning images. So we'll uh, hope to see you again next month. All right. Thank you, Nick, and congratulations to all the winners.
Now, let's move to the next one, the August 2021 contest. For the one-click observation and pro data set contest, the topic for this month is planetary nebula. Remember, for the advanced request contest, any image qualifies. Just use the appropriate tag to participate. So, thank you everyone for watching the video. Unfortunately, we don't have the space for holding the question, but you can submit them in the comment below or contact us through the chat box at support at telescope.live. And don't forget to join our Facebook community. Goodbye everyone, thank you.